The management of the PNG Teachers Association and its welfare fund gathered to celebrate its management's one year anniversary. Amen. Amen. Thank you. One more. <laughs> Despite a court proceeding afoot challenging the current management, work has continued. We moved in, we paid all the bills, no bills outstanding from the Electoral Commission. Second one, we managed to engage a retainer lawyer who is now working with PNDT, any cases against teachers in Papua New Guinea, teachers you won't pay. Only PNDT will pay because he already engaged a lawyer to handle your case. That's number two. Number three is that we are starting pay, uh, reimbursing all illegal deductions. That's number two. Number four now, we are, this is our own building. So we are, we've got contract already. It's working on first in my office now. They're removing all the sections down there and they're rebuilding and re... The president says his team is more determined and focused on the welfare of teachers throughout the country who are members. Now we are now addressing teachers' issues now. Log of claims. As I speak now, I have my general secretary and we brought my team now. I simply said tomorrow they're going to walk into log of claims, the outstanding claims from 2019, 2021. And once it's ready... We're going to forward it to teaching commission. Even if they don't want to open the door, we will by means push it in and then launch the teachers' outstanding claims. He highlights one success is the push for teachers' health during the pandemic. On behalf of teachers in Papua New Guinea, I thank the Minister for Earth, who came out clearly and he said yes, they will provide PPE to all schools in Papua New Guinea. The PNGTA executives also asked its staff to work together as a team so that many of its aspirations for teachers remains paramount. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.